Hello there, and welcome to the London Museum. Thank you for stopping by the Hall of Ancient Technology. Here we explore the ancients, a civilization that made its home in the mud of the great hunting ground. When mankind was brought to its knees, we were lucky that a true visionary stepped forward, Nicholas Quirk. Like us, and long before the Traction Era, the ancients had to adapt to their environment. But have you ever wondered how they lived when they weren't even moving? It's a baffling thing to think about. They wasted so much time on the ground. Can you imagine a lifetime spent looking out at the same landscape? The ancients had weapons, but they were no good against things like the Y2K bug, a creature that almost wiped out the ancients long before the 60-minute war. It was such a scary time. Monsters, bugs, static homes. We found many relics from the era of the ancients, but they're difficult to log. For record keeping, we know they came to favor devices they called computers, which might have originally been used for solving equations and such. Eventually, these computers kept logs of everything, including memories. And since we can't unlock them, we have no clue what the ancients thought about their world. But we do know what they thought about their gods. Countless religious relics have been found across the old American empire. But it's strange, there are no wheels anywhere to speak of. A god I worship must have a set of heavily armored wheels, for Quirk's sake. You're a god, get some wheels. But the only sign of traction we have from the ancients leaves much to be desired. So while the ancients were primitive, their electronic machines were far beyond anything London's engineers have been able to build. And every machine our engineers have ever developed is based on some fragment of their old tech that archaeologists have dug up or our very own museum keepers have preserved. So there is a lineage, but the ancients' knowledge has morphed over time, kind of like our continents. Ancient maps indicate that great upheaval followed in the centuries after the 60-minute war. If we go back far enough, we find an ancient world before the earthquakes, before the volcanoes, before glaciers dug out new mountains in the south. The ancients had such an amazing world to live in and explore. But for reasons we can't understand, they destroyed it. Maybe civilization will always be racing towards the unknown, even when it's not going very fast. And while we may not be any better off now than the ancients were, at least we're moving, and movement is life.